welcome to Vishpa Bloom. So in this video we are looking at AM2 analytical geometry packages we have to start. So first we'll start with Perl package. Perl. Yeah, so first question we will see. So question is the distance between points 0, 0,3 and minus 4, 0. So this is the points. So first we will write the points A is 0, 0,3. And B is minus 4, 0. So what we have to do? Find the distance between them. So we have to find A, B bar. A, B bar is nothing but root over x2 minus x1 whole square plus x y2 minus y1 whole square. So substitute over there because no need to. Now 0 minus of minus 4 will come out. You can directly write it as plus 4 whole square plus y2 is 0 so 0 minus 0 sorry 0 minus 3 i'm sorry i have done a mistake 0 minus 3 whole square now finding this 0 plus 0 plus 4 is 4 square only so this is minus 3 right so 4 square plus plus minus 3 whole square root is there every time now 4 square is 16 plus this is uh, minus 3 whole square is 9 so 16 plus 9 root is root 25 so root 25 is nothing but 5 units take it as option D now we will see second question. So what is second question? First we will read. The distance between uh, P comma minus Q and uh, Q comma minus P wherein P is greater than Q. So first what we have to first we will write the points P comma minus Q and uh, Q comma minus p right and condition you should write it every time p is greater than q so now distance between these two points we will write so distance between points between these two points you should write that points names okay so i will you should write it as distance between p comma minus q and q comma minus p but i am not writing it we will say directly solve it root over what is uh, x2 here it is q minus x1 is p whole square plus uh, y2 is minus p y1 is minus q so minus of minus right so this will become plus then root is there full root is there okay now q minus p whole square this one we have to see right so what we will do is so this would be root 2 into p minus q so you can take it as option c second one right third one we will see now so third one is we have they gave us two points they are a sine theta sorry a sine 16 comma a and 0 comma a cos 30 so i think you all remember the uh, all the values for trigonometry if you forgot the values go to trigonometry once i'll see some video then you will get to know okay now what is the value of sine 60 it is root 3 by 2 comma a now here this one will be this 0 comma what is the value of cos 30 it is also root 3 by 2 okay next so what we are going to do we have to find distance between these two points so how to find distance between these two points we will see now so same formula only every time we have to use that is 
x2 minus x1 root 3 by 2 whole square plus y2 is a root 3 by 2 comma z sorry minus sorry sorry minus 0 whole square this is root okay full you have to extend okay in your notebook i am just writing like this okay in order it will not go wrong now what we have to do here it will be go it, this one will be sorry wait here x2 is Mm, x2 is 0 right yeah correct only then so 0 square right first 0 square then uh, root 3 by 2 whole square so these 0 already I cancelled means here a square will be there because 0 minus this is minus right so we are just keeping that minus to a side mm? so this is a square will be there no that's why it's here Okay, then we have a uh, plus here a square again, right? Uh, then root 3 by 2 whole square. Fine, up to here I think you understood. So, this one full root you will put every time. Then here you can get it as when you simplify, you will get here two a's are there, right? 2a square. I removed minus because already when you find squares again in the last, if anything square is there, no, it's surely going to be positive only. That's why I removed uh, minus now itself. So don't get confused if any questions if I remove minus. No, you will get positive answer itself for uh, this surely because the person created like this squares and square roots, he made it. Right, that's why. Now, uh, root 2a square because 2 a squares were there right that's why root 3 by 2 whole square even 2 this are also there right root 3 by 2 then when you have this a square if i remove root 2 a will be there left out and root 3 by 2 will be there right so next what we have to do we will see here then after that, root 2 and root here 1, 2, we will cancel it. So, what is 2 actually? 2 means root 2 into root 2 is 2. So, here if I write this as root 2 into root 2, then 1 root 2 will get cancelled. Right. So, answer is going to be A, 3 root 3 by 2, root 2. Okay. And option is A for third one. Now, we will see from fourth question. Now, fourth one we will see. So, what is the fourth question actually? Is the distance between 0, comma, the origin and tan t alpha minus 1. So, what is the distance first? Distance between, they asked. Origin means what? 0, comma, 0. And what is the other point? Tan alpha, comma, 1. Right, so how to find distance in the same way we have to find in such a way like root over x, x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So this 0, 0 means uh, simply, easily we can just write it as uh, tan alpha whole square plus 1 square. Simple way. Right, then is, this is going to be a uh, tan alpha, tan square alpha plus 1. The root is still there. Is equal, that will be equal to. What is this going to be? You remember this identities which were there in the trigonometry. So this one will be equal to secant square alpha. So now square, this is a square and square root cancel. So answer is secant alpha option B. Then fifth one we will see. So fifth question we have to draw the graph. No need to just paste also do in a real graph. You can just draw it. It's simple. Okay. So we will see. I will say that question. The triangle formed by the point 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0
so instead of finding the distance for each and everything it's going to be time waste so let's draw one graph but sometimes we have to surely we have to uh, make the we have to find the values but now no need i can say we can easily find it out points are 0 comma 0 3 comma 0 and 0 comma 4 okay now first one graph i am drawing rough graph so you have to draw with pencil and scale okay so say this is the graph for now rough one this has to be straight right one second so now what we are going to do i drew it with scale now so it's neat right so now zero here this point is zero so zero comma zero point is first point is there only right yeah so make it as zero comma zero you write it there now measures from up we will write up to four we have to write because all our x this is x axis right sorry y axis right so here we will write i will write that also here i will write here it is not visible one minute yeah now it is seen this is x axis this is x dash right so this is 0 comma 0 now here comes 1 2 3 and 4 imagine all are not equal over there but you should be imagining it now here 1 2 3 4 now from which point they asked first is 3 comma 0 means this point is 0 comma sorry 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 3 comma 0 correct right next this is 4 comma 0 so let's throw fourth point here so the points are like this here here and here right so what we're going to do we'll just join this so what did it become actually a right angle triangle so answer is d a right angle or triangle you will write it okay now for the sixth one also we need to draw so i'm going to use the same graph here so let's start do it so now for sixth one we they have given us four points and we have to see where what it forms so first is minus one comma zero uh zero comma minus one then one comma zero and then zero comma one so first here very simple only we need only one point from each so i will be writing that one one point only like this this graph already I explained on the screen once right so you can just recollect or if you forgot no problem you can go and see the video all time you can see right now this is one point this is one point this is one point and this is one more point okay now you will join it okay join them now when you join what did you get this is not proper okay so proper measurements are not taken that's why it is like this so you will surely get a square actually because this will be actually equal in the graph when you real graph when you do no it's going to be correct you can check if you want you check in the real graph you do once and you will surely get here this is a rough one you will not get exactly the rough one any time you will not get because here i took this much distance here i took this much distance here different so the measures the dis distance is different so that's why we will not get exactly every time so the triangle was simple so we got it but uh, square you will not get if you do in the real graph surely you will get now let's continue from seventh so seventh one is they have given us three points okay a is zero comma zero b is one comma zero and c is zero comma one so what we have to do with these points is we have to find the measures that is a b b c and c a and we have to find the perimeter so what is perimeter just adding up all the sides whatever you get it will be the perimeter so first finding a b bar that is root over 1 minus 0 whole square plus 0 comma 0 whole square now oh, this is root equal to root 1 because here 1 minus 0 is only there this is not there so it is 1 unit then bc 
here again root 1 minus 0 whole square plus 1 minus 0 whole square. So here 1 square plus 1 square. Right. So what you have are 1 square my 1 square plus 1 square. Sorry. This is nothing but root 2 unit. Okay. Next CA we will find. CA is root over 0 comma 0 whole square plus 0 comma 1 whole square that is nothing but root over minus 1 whole square that is 1 unit right so how to find the perimeter so perimeter is equal to AB plus BC plus CA so how to find that 1 plus root 2 plus 1 units units is very important term so i will just write it in the last that is nothing but 1 plus 1 is 2 so 2 plus root 2 you can't write 2 root 2 because it's not multiplication 2 plus root 2 units okay this is the answer take it as option d okay now we will see eighth question now we will be seeing the 8th question. So they have given us uh, 3 points. Those are A is 0 comma minus 1. B is uh, minus 2 comma 0. And C is uh, minus 1 comma 3. So we have to find which triangle this uh, these points will form. So we should not draw the graph for this because... For right angle triangle, it was easy to identify. We will get that right angle symbol. But here, all the measures we have to, like, we don't know, right, which is it. So, if it is not a right angle, we can't help it out again, right? So, better we have to solve this one. Okay. A, B. First, that is root over 4 plus 1. I am directly solving it. Root 5. Now, you have to do the simplification. See, just substitution I am asking you to do. That's it. That is your homework part. And this remaining everything I am only giving. I am only doing, right? Answer also I am only giving. So, CI is what? Root 17 units. Okay. So, what all the three are different. You will get this only. Check it out if you want. That means you should solve it anyways. So scaling triangle option B you will take it. Now we will do ninth one. So nine ninth one is actually matching only. It's simple actually. So they have given us in the left side they gave us for matrix matching. So here they have given us the equation. Suppose ninth one we will take the example as x minus 3y plus 5 is equal to 0. On, uh, on the right hand, they have given uh, the points on straight line. So, like, we will take example as 1, 2. So, how you will going, uh, you are going to do this is x, right? This is y. Okay. So, you have to substitute all the values which are there in RHS for this. And which value you are going to get it correct will be the answer. Now, if I substitute for the first one, I, it is going to be 0. Like 1, 2 is answer for this. A. And B is also answer only. Yeah. So, you have to substitute that also. Like that you will substitute. You will get multiple answers sometime. So, fully you substitute and check it. So, I will say the answers now. Simplification is very simple only, right? You can do it. But I will just uh, write the equation and I will just show you how it is correct and all that. Plus 5 equal to 0. Then 1 minus 3 into 2 plus 5 is equal to 0. Yes, it is 0 only. So, option A is correct. Now, minus 2 minus 3 into 1 plus 5 is equal to 0. This is option B. This is also correct only. Now, remaining options won't come. I'm just, I already checked the answers. That's why I'm directly saying you all. 3x plus 2y is equal to 7 is the next question. So, for this, answers are, first, we will do with option A. 3 into 1 plus 2 into uh, 2 is equal to 7. Yes, it is correct. So, option A is correct. Next one, we will see. 3 into 3 
plus uh, 2 into minus 1. I'm not doing blindly with any other thing. I'm just doing with options, okay? So, I'm doing simplification also. Uh, now, 11th one, 3x minus 2 by plus 8 is equal to 0. So, this one we will see with B option 3 into minus 2 minus 2 into 1 uh, plus 8 is equal to 0. Then, next one, this is option B, we will take it as next one we will take it as 3 into 0 minus 2 into 4 plus 8 is equal to 0 so that is c right i think you are not able to see yeah now it is c now 12th one we will see so it is 2x plus 5y is minus 1 is equal to 0 then 2 into minus 2 plus 5 uh, into 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 that is option b and then next one is 2 into 3 uh, plus 5 into minus 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 As option d you will take it okay so this is the answer for this answer key solution also is on the board so this much only you have to solve actually full solution i didn't show that means how you will do for first and i'll give example if you're doing on board means like in your book how you can do 1 minus 3 into 2 is 6 so 1 minus 6 plus 5 so 1 minus 6 is minus 5 minus 5 plus 5 will you cancel them you will get 0 so in this way you can do or else directly you can just imagine the calculation and do like this how I did. Okay. So this is the answer key. So we will see the emerald package in the next video. Do like, share and subscribe to Wish for Blooms. Bye for now. And uh, don't forget to click the bell icon.